welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. Please do remember to like, to share, subscribe, so share with your friends and your family, the people you know, the people you don't know. You know, guys, I am actually smiling on the outside, but I am crying on the inside. The year has just begun, and the wolves are on the loose again. Last year, they targeted women, and this year it seems as if they have now turned to children and the elderly. When they prey on weaker and helpless people, what does it make them? Does it make them feel stronger i have no idea because most of these people committing the crimes are young adults what does the elderly have to offer are they doing this for fun is it fun why they are doing it women children and the elderly seems to be easy targets when it comes to crimes in Jamaica right now. An elder person is vulnerable and the young criminals is now preying on it. The latest vi victim is this gentleman, Winston McLean from St. Elizabeth. On March 18, his decomposed body was found. After residents did not see him for some days, and they smelled something when they went to his house. They, he was dead. They killed him. Now, um, it seems as if he was shot. Then again, around the same period, an elderly woman in South Borough, Portmore, was killed because a few days earlier, she spoke to a TV reporter and she was just voicing her opinion about the crimes in the area. So the residents blocked the road protesting about the killing of this woman. But are these people safe? These people that are now protesting, are they safe or are they putting themselves in danger? Also, again, the year just start and all these things are happening. In February, a 62-year-old fisherman was killed in St. Elizabeth. And in the same month, a 63-year-old woman was killed in St. Catherine. Also, a 76-year-old man was killed in Manchester. Where is the power to slow this down? Why are the elderly becoming victims? How are the elders a threat to these young people? These are not really normal times. Maybe only the return of capital punishment will slow down crime because crime is getting worse every day in Jamaica. And when we, when we as Jamaicans living abroad see these things, it drives fear in us. And this is why, you know, it's not people who really love Jamaica. The crimes is not going to really stop them from visiting. Because we are going to take the risk and visit with the hope that nothing will happen. And we will try to be careful to have our eyes in our backs, which most of us do when we go there. 
but has to return. You know, most people think twice about returning to Jamaica to reside permanently. <laughs>